Thank you so much. Welcome back. This hour, we are celebrating the extraordinary nurses who care for us during the toughest of times. And our next guest is no exception. She is a nurse, innovator, and advocate for her fellow nurses, addressing health disparities for underserved people. And she is truly amazing. So let's take a peek at Andrea's story. Hi, my name is Andrea Jaramillo, and I am a hospice nurse, a clinical research nurse, a consultant for a wellness startup, and a nurse farmer. I was born in Ecuador and grew up never knowing a single nurse. I moved to the US when I was 16 and became an interpreter for the National Institute of Health. It was there where I saw the strength and power of nurses in a patient's life. And I knew that I wanted to care for people in the same way. Working with underserved communities is very important for me because I was one of the patients who did not have access to care at one point. So giving back to the community, it's very rewarding for me. Nurses are the cornerstone of every healthcare system and immigrants are the backbone of American society. I think of nurses as activists, advocates, but most importantly, as catalysts for change. That's why I always felt compelled to bring my own chair to the table. After years of being a registered nurse, I realized how quickly nurses could burn out, which was exacerbated even more with the onset of COVID. Nurses are natural problem solvers, and because we spend so much time caring for patients directly, we're always seeing ways to improve our systems of care. But we get frustrated because for many nurses, there is no clear way to raise and implement these amazing ideas. And we want to be a part of the solution. That is why I became involved in the Society of Nurse Scientists, Innovators, Entrepreneurs and Leaders, or SONCL for short. There we provide a community for nurses with innovative ideas to come together and support each other. We want to empower nurses to make an impact as the innovators and pioneers that we are. SONCL has given me permission to define what nursing means to me and allow me to rediscover my love for caring for others without losing myself. I want to continue to help nurses discover the same thing. Please, everybody, give a warm welcome to nurse Andrea Jaramillo. Hi, thank you. I am so excited to celebrate you. Thank you. Okay, so you worked very hard to become a nurse, is this correct? This is correct. It took me about 10 years. Uh, you know, I applied to almost all the schools in the New England area. I had seven rejections, and eventually I got into this really great university, UMass Boston, where I graduated in 2017 with honors. Oh! <laughs> oh. How wonderful when you can show them See, you accepted me and look what I did. <laughs> and Sun CL was started in 2019, but you and your team have already been to the United Nations. Yes, we did. Uh, we got a team of nurses uh, group and we showed up uh, to learn how we can be part of these committees where decisions are being made. Nurses, we are experts. We need to bring our expertise to the table. We need to bring our voices and I think uh, there is 28 million nurses roughly around the world, and we are underrepresented where decisions are being made. So I think this is the main thing we want to bring. We want to bring our chair and sit at those tables because if we are not you know, at the table, we're on the menu, and I think it's important. <sighs> well, because we are teaming up with Johnson & Johnson to honor nurses, I wanted to invite a friend, a new friend of mine, um, to join us. Please welcome Johnson & Johnson Executive Vice President, Michael Sneed. Hello, Michael. This is fantastic. Well, this is fantastic. So much of what you've done has made this possible, really and truly. We're indebted to you with gratitude that is honestly not able to be put into words. And 
What I'd like to ask you is, you know, you've decided to make it a company mission and a priority to advocate for support and to empower nurses. Why did that come about? What is it that spoke to you and what did you say this is what we need to do? Yeah, well, look, it's Johnson & Johnson is certainly a priority for us when it comes to nursing. But, Drew, it's also a personal priority for me. Over the last several months, I've actually traveled the country talking to nurses in communities and really hearing their stories. And, and it's been tough. You know, the nurses in, around the U.S. have been dealing with the pandemic. They've been trying to work to close the health gap in their communities. And oftentimes they're feeling you know, burned out. They're feeling uh, neglected, as Andrea talked about. But at the same time, I've heard some great stories that have been so uplifting. You know, when I see these nurses and I hear their stories, what I can tell you about nurses is that they are problem solvers. Oh. I, can, I can tell you that they are advocates for their patients. I can tell you that they're innovators. I can tell you that they're leaders in the community. Nurses are the backbone of the healthcare system. And so when we lift them up, it's better for us, it's better for all of us, and certainly better for our health. And it's one of the reasons why Johnson & Johnson has been such a supporter of nurses for the last 125 years. And it's because we see their ability to really be advocates, to be, uh, have the ability to empower themselves and each other, to be able to educate people. And when you think about superheroes, that's what superheroes do. Yeah. And so that's what all these nurses do every single day. a little surprise for Andrea, is this correct? As you know, you talked about her organization, Sans Seal, yes. which is a tremendous organization, by the way, doing amazing things. But the, the great thing about it is this Sans Seal is an organization that empowers so many other nurses when it comes to uh, what they do in terms of being a nurse scientist and all the things that uh, they do. So on behalf of Johnson & Johnson, we want to present to you a grant of $25,000 oh <laughs> to help you continue the work that you do. I'd love to get in on this. I'm also going to do a little something for you because, again, all I have to offer, all I make are um, things uh, that, you know, I want to improve life with and spark joy. Um, so I would also like to send you with all the beautiful appliances, the flower hair oh tools and the flower beauty as a woman to woman oh, gift. Thank you. Oh, my Excellent. God. It's amazing. Thank you, Drew. Well, thank you, Andrea Hadamijo, <laughs> and thank you to the executive vice president of Johnson & Johnson, Michael Smead. What you do for the world is incredible, and thank, thank you for you. being a part of this show and this hour. We will be right back. Thank you so much.